Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot and I'm here today with this video doing a deck reveal of the new Disney Villains Tarot Deck with Guidebook. Now, the box actually was much bigger than I was expecting. I was expecting the little flip top box, but uh, a nice sturdy box for the villains. And pretty much what you're seeing on the cover is what is in the deck. And that's kind of the biggest disappointment. I didn't know what to expect from this, but I always have such high expectations for anything Disney. And this is put out by Minerva Siegel, who you probably know with this deck, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And this has got the same type of heavy duty box. And she worked with uh, Ellie Goldwine on this deck. And the guidebook that you get with it, which I've already gone through, made my notes, and I had to actually look up some of <laughs> the characters due to, I can't remember, exactly which movie that was or the villain in that movie. So I've already made my notes. But I was a little surprised because Disney has almost 60 animated full length feature movies. And why wasn't more from each movie used in this deck. Because we're talking about the 78 card deck, regular deck with the major and minor arcana cards. So I that's the biggest takeaway from this deck is who you're seeing kind of here, these movies, is what's featured in the deck. Instead of really expanding into all the different characters that Disney has to offer. Now, it's a basic standard size. I loved the shuffle, shuffle ability. I remember I came up with that by accident in one of my other deck reveals. So I like the shuffle ability with this deck. When I went to, um, you know, cut the cards and, uh, you know, shuffle them, uh, there was more flexibility because right now this is a very solid deck. Uh, there's not much here as far as the back of the deck, but I am going to run through uh, some of the ones that uh, mostly the court cards or some of my favorites that I can really relate to. So first off here, the Queen of Wands. We've got Snow White and what who she truly is. The Chariot card, look at Corella DeVille. That's, that's actually a perfect one that they picked for that. Uh, the Hanged Man, I believe this is Ka from The Jungle Book. So kind of mesmerizing you, getting you to think things in a different way. The Queen of Cups is Ursula, no big surprise there. And actually, give me one second here. I've got the Magician card coming up, and I did not recognize who this was. Okay. This is the Dr. I want to say it's French, Facilier. But this is from The Princess and the Frog. And so that's probably why I'm not recognizing this character, as my kids are completely grown adults. And I didn't have the pleasure of seeing that movie. But I am aware of some of the things affiliated with that movie, but not that character. He's a magician. King of Cups is Captain Hook from Peter Pan. The Empress. This is from the movie Tangled. And this is another one. Mother Gothel. Okay. Knight of Cups. Here we have Gaston. From Beauty and the Beast. This has got to be one of my favorites because it's perfect. The Queen of Hearts for Judgment. Uh, we have, I think this is Prince John from the Jungle Book, King of Coins. And another favorite here, the High Priestess. 
Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty, one of the way back in the day, one of my favorite Disney movies. The King of Swords is actually Scar from The Lion King. But there's a recurring theme of just a few select Disney films. So I'm just going to kind of just show you two of coins. This is probably uh, the Jungle Book. Again, we've got the Seven of Coins Jungle Book. Uh, Five of Swords. This is Lucifer from Cinderella. And we've got the Nine of Cups. So you're seeing Ursula again. The Nine of Wands, this is from Snow White, the Queen. Four of Cups, Captain Hook, Peter Pan. Page of Wands here. Oh. And I can see the spelling of his name, and excuse me if I'm saying it wrong. I Iago? I can't remember. From Aladdin. Ten of Wands, here we've got Snow White again. Wheel of Fortune, you see Maleficent in the background. Sleeping Beauty. Um, the Seven of Swords is Cinderella again. And then you've got a few that don't have any reference to any of the Disney movies. Three of Cups and Three of Coins is just, um, well, that kind of makes me think the Lion King. But... I love the theme decks, the novelty decks. They're always fun, but I'm not sure what I expected from the villains. Certainly, um, you know, the ones that they depicted, but I kind of expected more of the Disney films to be featured in this deck. So that's my only con in regards to the new Disney villains tarot deck. So... It is, um, you know, a fun theme deck to play with, and it is Minerva Siegel that put this out, the same as The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I enjoyed that deck too. But um, I think it's because of my very high expectations for Disney that I wanted more of Disney to be represented in this deck. There's far more villains, some of my favorites, that aren't even shown in this deck, so... Just wanted to do a very quick deck reveal to uh, Disney's Villains Tarot deck. Minerva Siegel put it out. And if you're a Disney fan, I would say, yeah, get the deck. You'll enjoy it. But there's not as many characters as I was expecting to see show up in 78 cards for a tarot deck. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the deck reveal. And as always... Love and abundance.